Hi guys, I'm outside my van here. I wanted to create a little space heater that would be a little bit more efficient than the standard space heater. I'm going to show you how that, how I built that in about an hour. Uh, so it really isn't a big build. It looks more complicated than it is, but uh, here it is inside the van. This is the van, of course. You've probably seen before my other videos. But um, here is the space heater. Now, as you can see, it's... Uh, I've got a plant pot on top of there to, to really talk about the other builds, which is really the plant pot builds. You probably saw my previous video, this uh, electric um, plant pot heater, which wasn't that efficient. So I decided to, even with a 40 watt bulb, it still wasn't that efficient. So I decided to do a much more efficient one using bricks and I'm going to show you how I did that right now. So I'm going to turn my my camera over here so that you can actually see and I bring the space heater over onto there so we can actually go through how this thing is made. So as you can see the the basics of this are really not that complicated. We, uh, we've we got a top plate. Now this top plate is really simple to build. It's a piece of flat piece. I, I measured the width of the bricks and uh, I just bent this so it's a very flexible and thin aluminium so it's not difficult for anybody to build. Just made a couple of saw marks on the other side there. Bent, bent it around the brick. So that was pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. I don't really have to go into too much explanation as to that. If you do want any, just ask in the comments below and I'll give you some more instructions. The, the tools that I used for this, it's very interesting what tools I used. This is basically the tools that I used. A hammer, a saw and, and some, some uh, pliers, some pins of pliers. So that's, that's really what the tools were that were used to build this. The build of it was the foundation of the build was on these bricks. I found these these bricks. They're fairly standard. This one cost me about 50p, 70 cents to to buy, and um, I got two of them. So it cost me a, about a pound or one pound, one dollar fifty to uh, to buy these. And um, then on the base unit, I basically got some. I'll blow that candles out there just so I can show you how this thing is built. Um, I don't get too frightened here because this build is really very very simple and I'm going to show you how simple it is for anybody to build this. Um, the key is to stay with a, an aluminium uh, or a light metal that is easy enough to handle or, or to, um, to use yourself um, and to cut. The, the center convection unit is really made up of, of three parts. We have the uh, convection system and the two separators or chambers. And then the base unit is really a piece of aluminium or, or metal, whichever you, you have. But I bent to the same width as the brick, cut two slots here with the, the, um, the saw, the small saw, and then used the pliers to bend these down so that the bricks could easily sit on the top of those two, uh, two supports. Very, very simple. The, the, the base unit, which looks like the complicated unit, is made up of three units. And we have a, and these are really slotted together. Again, I'll show you how simple that is. There are three main units. The, the standard unit is really a piece of thin aluminium, which, which anybody could bend and, and, and cut themselves, um, really just bent to make up a chamber that wraps around the, the side of the, um, of the base unit and through the center here which creates the chamber. And then the convection unit is again a W bent piece of thin metal with some slits cut here to receive these two units here. And these were again cut with the same, the same saw as I used for everything else. I've made some little vents here so that the heat could come up through the center uh, into the 
the middle of the brick, I figured out there were three main areas here, the center um, gap and the two sides. So the convection is designed so that when the candle burns on the bottom of these two, that it pushes up the sides here or up the middle. And of course that distributes the heat through, through the system. Now, this is a one hour build, so I'll very simply show you how it goes together again. And I'll just make sure that that is the one. I think it's the other way around. So basically that goes, clicks together in the center. This one clicks together in the center. Very simple. Slots in there. Uh, the, it wraps around, it drops over the top and drops between the two units like so. Uh, that's the basic unit as you can see it's really not that complicated and now we have our convection base convection system the great thing about this is the safety factor that we have three chambers and we can then put uh, two candles in each chamber which will heat the convection through the center here so we can have six candles which will give us quite a substantial amount of heat in the center of this then in addition to that we drop our our bricks on the top uh, that simple they drop quite nicely in the, the center there between the two the two units we put our other brick on the top here and as you can see it's not a difficult build this uh, our little um, cap goes on the top to stop the heat from coming up and this gets warm as the heat goes in and the candles drop in here between the, the units, six of them. I've only got um, four here to show you the, how that would work. But that's it. That's basically the whole build. Now I did create these two little shields at the front which help to reduce some of the drafts and they really just sit on the front to uh, prevent the, the drafts from getting to the, the unit. And also it helps to assist the heat that escapes from the sides to go up the sides here and under here to help heat the top part of this unit. So that's it. That is the the whole build in a nutshell. And as you can see, not that complicated. Anybody can build one. And it does get very, very warm. So I'll be showing you some of the tests in other videos to show you how hot this actually gets uh, inside my van here. I actually have a little thermostat and as you can see the thermostat is currently reading below 10 we're actually at about 9 uh, quite a warm day for winter here and we're we're hoping to push that up to about 18 to get comfortable inside the van okay so that's that's all I can show you as far as this is concerned the uh, the van project is still of course on an ongoing and as you've probably seen from my previous videos, here's the van. There's my solar panel, a bit overkill, 250 watts. Here's my electrical system down at the bottom here. And uh, I actually have in the back of the van at the moment, uh, my 135 deep cycle battery. We're charging at about 2.5 at the moment, but I must admit I do have an extra an extra solar panel running there as you can probably see that runs down to the uh, to the van so yeah guys that's it hope to talk to you in the next videos and uh, help you to create some more off-grid solutions talk to you soon thanks for listening bye